that. All right. So yeah, we have uh, on our screen is the so talked about you know the very much discussed uh, unified 360 view. So we have that, and over here what you can see is the patient Charles Green. Uh, so this is a demo that I have created that we have created, which has certain data and uh, it is specifically made for you know. Uh, this particular demo itself only and if you have any questions please uh, ensure you drop that in the chat box itself only yep so over here the patient information that uh, can be seen from here uh, we have all the information about the patient itself only uh, what is his phone number what is his date of birth his address and then we have the information about his medications what medications he is on what health conditions does he had uh, so medications being you know uh, Pyrosomide he's taking, he has high blood pressure, he had heart failure earlier and he had diabetes type 2. Then we have certain allergies tracked as well like food, medication, biologic. Uh, so we have all of that uh, tracked. Then we have latest encounters when he actually visited the hospital or when he actually came, uh, with a came up with a problem and uh, had an encounter. Then we have immunization details, uh, you know, he is COVID-19, uh, COVID uh, uh, he has COVID-19 vaccination. Then we have medical procedure details like he has gone to hip surgery, he had CT scan done. Then we have care request as well like if he is looking for a care request, he has. We have all of that information available to us right over here in this particular section. Then we have the capability of you know verifying what all benefits he has. So what are the available plans? So as we can see, these are all the available plans, and then just by click of a button, it will verify. Uh, so it is sending that authorization and then we are getting the you know uh, response back and then we are verifying whether this particular patient is uh, verified or not so as you can see the time got updated 816 so he's verified now this is our all the these are all the details which are available to us so if he asks like how much it would, would be for you know out of pay out of pocket or out of network so we have that like 450 dollars uh, he has already utilized and total is 800 so you have remaining 350 dollars so all of that information is available to us like co-insurance details deductible details in network or out of network so we have all of that information available to us so we don't have to leave this page we have this information available to us at all times in this view itself only then we have the capability of you know doing assessments so let's say uh, we are uh, he is we want we have identified like we want to send him an assessment for diabetes he haven't taken a hb1ac test or he hasn't been come to he hasn't come to our hospital or clinic in past few days so we want to kind of you know uh, take an assessment so we can simply do this we can choose diabetes assessment and we can send it once i click send it would be sent to this particular uh, patient and then he will receive an email and he can fill it from there or else I can click on a start and I can fill it on his behalf assuming he is on a of, 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 like he is on phone call with us or he is sitting in front of us so how does it look if I do that so I have already sent one so I will be I am opening it up in a incognito window so it's opening up just a second so meanwhile it opens up, I will show you how does it look. So if I click on start, I have these questions, are you taking this assessment for myself or another person? So I can choose uh, what are the diabetes you're diagnosed with, have you ever been hospitalized? So I am providing all of that insure or information. Uh, when I remember, as you can see, all of that information is kind of, you know, uh, going on to the next question and adding some additional questions on top of it. Uh, poor, so yeah, I have all of that information and I, when I submit it, uh, assessment will be created. Okay, just a second. So yeah, you can see uh, assessment like this will be received on his email and he does not need to log in. He can simply go to a spread or he can simply click on the link and an anonymous window will open up for him. And I say anonymous, meaning he does not need to log in and then he can provide all of that information. And once he clicks on submit, it will be sent back to Salesforce and then we will have that assessment. So we have that assessment over here. So this is how the assessments will look. 
and we have all the previous assessments as well and uh, we can simply you know, utilize that then once we have the assessments we can create care plans so once we have identified he is having uh, trouble you know uh, he is his blood glucose level are high and he is uh, having difficulty in uh, eating or he is having some physical problems as well uh, eye pain or something like that then we can devise care plans so once we create uh, once we come to care plan we can create care plans from three primarily uh, uh, actions so first one being the assessment the second one being the care template and third one being the care gaps so if i click on new care plan i can create a new care plan and i have the option to based on what you want to create a care plan so we have taken an assessment so i want to simply use that i can choose an assessment so i will choose an assessment diabetes assessment so i can choose when do you want to start this care plan and then we can have we have the problems that we can uh, you know address with this care plan so diabetes diet plan needed yes we want to give that so i will choose it and then i will choose the action as well like what all things that i want and uh, let's say a keeping scheduling of uh, assistance so yes we want that so once i click on save a new care plan would be created specifically for this particular patient so now how easy it is from one unified view you have all of that information you don't have to go here and there you can create a care plan based on the assessment that he gave so you have all of that capability in health cloud you also have the capability of creating the assessment from you know uh the care template as well and the care gaps as well so care gaps is so template is like you know something similar to assessment so you have a template for diabetes diabetic patient so you are simply utilizing that for care gaps what we have is uh, let's say uh, he is on a diabetic uh, care plan itself only but you have seen like in the past 6 months he haven't taken a hb1ac test so you can identify okay this is a care gap and we want a proper you know plan for that as well so you can create a care plan for that where a particular care coordinator will call him or maybe a, a lab test will be get scheduled and he can simply take that and that will help us uh next up we have uh, the epic data so epic data is basically the ehr data so we have the capability of viewing the complete ehr data over here itself only uh in the in just one uh, view itself then we have the medications detail so i'm not sure it's high if he has medications it is also be available so we don't have to go here and there we have all of that information available to us then we have uh, life events so thanks to again velocity so a lot of parts are velocity are being utilized over here so we have uh, life events over here then we have provider search so let's say if it's a pair and pair is receiving call from charles green and uh, he wants to look for a hospital or a clinic where he can go for dermatology related problem they would simply click on search and it will tell them okay these are the two where you can go so how easy it is for them as well then we have intelligent appointment so we can schedule intelligent appointment based on you know what type of visitation we want and on physical and we can do that from here yep and then we have the timeline as i was talking you have a complete timeline so in the 360 degree uh, patient view you want a complete understanding of what this patient has gone through what are his scheduled appointments what were his previous assessment what was his latest assessment so you have all of that data so in clinical data we can see uh, these are the you know uh, insurance benefits that he is getting the one that we just verified is available here the inpatient encounter the emergency the immunization data the medical procedure data we have all of that information available to us and then we have engagement data so engagement data being uh, the data where this particular person kind of interacted uh, with us and we kind of give him some kind of treatment so we just created care plan so we have that then we have service appointment where we booked an appointment for this patient for any reason dermatology or oncology or whatever it might be we have all of that data available here and then with that we have 
assessment data as well. So assessment data being we have all the assessment information available to us on fingertips so that we can see, okay, uh, what was his previous assessment, what is his current assessment. So we have that data and we can verify and compare okay, how he is performing on that. Then we have uh, households. So this app household allows us a complete view of, uh, you know, the information that we have of about this patient and the related individuals to this particular patient, which could be his family or his, you know, uh, physician or some uh, doctor as well. So like for us, we have Charles Green himself and then we have his spouse and her, his son. We have that information. Next up, we have timeline. So this timeline is basically the same thing, but providing a much more detailed view, much more better view for us. So if I show you from over here, so we can see all the information. Okay, on 30th October 2022, he had a hip replacement. In that, we gave him PCP checkup. Uh, we gave him this medicine, and then we had a 60-minute consultation afterwards on 17 November. So we have complete view. We have complete timeline. So it gives us, uh, you know, the complete 360-degree view, and we do not have to go here and there. If he simply says, like, I had uh, surgery in 2022, and you want to identify when did it happen, you can simply come over here and then, you know, scroll up like this, and then you have that information available to us. So this is that, and then uh, there are various other things as well. So yeah, I just wanted to highlight these ones, and uh, then I will show you a brief demo of, uh, uh, you know, a co-pilot. So I will be simply looking for uh, uh, locate patient account Debra Jacobs. So I'm utilizing Copilot to identify a patient. So I have received a call about Debra uh, from Debra uh, Debra Jacobs. So I simply type in and I search for that. The AI is doing whatever it needs to do internally. We have discussed uh, in detail what it does uh, in our previous webinar. If you want, you can go ahead and watch that. And if you have certain questions, you can ask us in the chat box. So yeah, uh, we have this account. Once I click on it, it gives, it opens up this information. Now I don't have much time, so I will simply say, summarize this patient. Uh, I could simply click on the, the suggested actions as well, but I wrote it. Now it is summarizing the patient for us. So this summarization, we can configure what all data we want to consider in summarization, what all uh, you know uh, output we want, in what particular format we want. We can control that, we can specify that. So uh, I have specified for the sake of this demo just two, three components, but we can incorporate various other components as well as per our need, and those will be considered while giving us this response. So. It is fetching that information, uh, keep it a moment. All right, so yeah. We have this information like Deborah Jacobs an account with detailed profile, the account profile coordinated by Nikhil, so this is the owner. Uh, Deborah was born, so we have his date of birth information. Oh, she was born. <laughs> she was born in this date and in this year, so we have that information. Then we have our address information. And if we had other information, it would have been summarized for this. Uh, Account, we had only this information. Then we have, are there any health conditions? So uh, the health conditions aren't specified, but if they would have been, they would have come up over here. And then uh, in terms of activities, we have the activities which are listed over here. So we can configure the summarize, uh, we can summarize, and then we can configure what all data we want to be summarized in what particular format and how it needs to be represented back to us in which particular format. So we can configure all of that with Einstein Copilot. Uh, just to give you a high level understanding, so this is the uh, you know t uh, prompt that I am using. So I have specified, so th I have taken this uh, inspiration from uh, Salesforce templates as well. So over here I have specified the instruction, like you have to summarize the account. So patient is basically an account inside Salesforce, so I need to use the technical terms over here. So I have specified that, then I have specified what all data it needs to kind of summarize, account overview, health condition, medical statements, I include data about medication, adherence, prescriber, strength. So I can con specify all of that, and then I can specify the formatting guidelines, so it will consider that. 
and then we have the data which uh, we are providing you can provide the data from over here so yeah, you can do all of that again there are lots and lots of good trailhead available that you can utilize for this particular need and uh, you can also go ahead and check out our previous webinar if you want to understand how it works yeah so that is uh, the demo that i wanted to kind of showcase it covers the high level you know 360 patient degree view and certain co-pilot capabilities that we have with this so yeah this was the demo that i wanted to kind of showcase you if you have any questions uh, please drop them in the chat.